Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes or your daily tarot reading for 23rd? Yeah. 23rd, 24th, whatever, whatever. You know, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start with this deck right here and see what comes up. Then I'm going to start working on my Julys. If you've sent me an email to request a reading um, and you haven't heard back from me, I am severely behind. I have about 60 unread requests um, that I'm going to get to as soon as I can. And I have about 153 comments to approve. Um, and I'm going to get to those as well. So just bear with me. This is the daily reading for the 24th. Well, no, I said the 23rd. Well, 23rd, 24th, whatever, right? Let's just see what comes up. Ooh, the High Priestess, intuition. You know, this is about going within, seriously, and just listening, listening to your gut. Um using silence as your tool focusing on what you know believing in yourself I think we have somebody here that is keeping something to themselves maybe they have this you know gut which is intuition that is telling them something and they're probably contemplating on what they already know so here we have intuition is a key factor on this day. Somebody is seeing a situation clearly. Taking time to uh, receive, you know. See if I can save those. <laughs> Just put lotion on, so. Here we have a level of confusion. You know, there's options. Uh, somebody has to make a decision. And somebody may be, may be hiding the truth, okay? They may have been hiding the truth or they're hiding something. Maybe they're hiding the fact that they have other options. This is also an obsession of some sort. Somebody may know that somebody is hiding something. That could be the case. Keeping it to themselves, just, you know, waiting, waiting for the truth to come out. The moon reversed, the truth will come out. So I think we have somebody here that knows that somebody is hiding something, you know. Maybe they've been investing in something and they know they can tell that there's no more growth or there's, there's no more profit here. This is unrealistic and dissatisfied. Somebody is dissatisfied with something. Dis and you gotta see, I'm gonna put another card right here. These are mirroring each other. Somebody is dissatisfied with somebody's resistance. Okay, this is resistance. This is somebody that is um, not really opening up, not really giving. Okay, wanting to be very, this is almost like a very selfish energy. So somebody's in the process of making a decision and using their intuition to guide them. There's some sort of truth that has been hidden, and it looks as though it's probably going to be revealed, and it may be revealed through an intuitive message. Ooh. Mm. 
well, this is this is somebody who hasn't been listening. There's a lack of faith, lack of trust, maybe even a lack of commitment. Somebody's not believing in what they're hearing. It's like they're receiving the message, but it's like they're doubting the message. Not having faith in what they know. Why? Why would you doubt what you know? Now, somebody is in the process of choosing, you know, do I even want to be in this commitment? Do I even want to be committed to this? Do I even want to go down this path? Right? I mean, that's what we got here. Mm. King of Pentacles reversed. We have some, this is the King of Pentacles reversed. Is somebody who's not really focused on the right things. This person may be working too much or not working enough. Financially unstable, a financial mess. Or too focused on their money. This could be, it could go either way. This, we could be dealing with a person that maybe needs to make another choice. Maybe needs to choose differently. But very stubborn. Very stubborn. We have a very stubborn person in here, okay. Resisting change, no doubt. There could be a loss because of this person's inability to, you know, open up or change things or, you know, this is a card of consequences. It is. So somebody could be suffering some sort of consequences because of their resistance. Ooh. Ooh, this is good news. This is good news coming in. Now, this is something being revealed, some sort of truth being revealed that may lead somebody down a new path. Somebody is needing to find the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower and the force within them to face fear and go down a new path. Stop resisting the change. Stop being so stubborn. Stop being so stubborn, please. Or, the, or you're going to lose. You will lose what you have gained because of stubbornness. Sorry, there's a mosquito in here. Bloodsucker. And this could be a blood sucker. Seriously. Somebody that's greedy. Selfishness will get you in nowhere. Very selfish energy right here. And somebody is needing to, you know, act with grace. Go with the flow. Stop resisting change. Anyhow, Page of Wands. This is an easy distraction. Somebody has been, in, been getting distracted. And they need to stay focused. Maybe you need to try some new things. Get excited for new adventures. Somebody has needs to, uh, you know, really follow through. Find the discipline to follow through. And whatever that is. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> now, Tens are completions. Wealth. Somebody is really focused on their wealth, right? But there's probably been some sort of loss. Somebody has not invested. They have not invested properly in some way. Or they've been investing too much on their wealth. Whatever. Somebody has been investing too much or not investing enough. The King of Pentacles reverse could go either way. This is a new opportunity. An exciting new opportunity. It looks like we got somebody here that is looking at another person, looking at another avenue, something that is very healthy, something that is very exuberant, or something that is very 
high vibrational. Somebody is looking at another opportunity that is beautiful to them. I mean, this is a beautiful opportunity to, you know, bring something, you know, to have the good life, to live in a state of ease. But the only way to get to that state of ease is to stop being so stubborn, stop being so obsessive, stop trying to control things, go with the flow, let it be. Let change happen. We got Leo, we got Pisces, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we got Taurus up there. And we got Sagittarius. So here things are bent upside down, back and forth. Somebody's been on a roller coaster ride. And there's probably a lot of frustrations going up and down. Maybe even some health issues. Maybe even some addictions that have gotten in the way that have costed some money. So it looks like on the 23rd, 24th, whenever, you know, the timing is fluid. Somebody is in the process of deciding what is the best option for them. We have a very stubborn individual here who probably has a new opportunity to go down a new path, an exciting opportunity. But in order to do that, they're probably going to have to find their strength to open up and let go. It takes mastering of emotions to face fear, to face change, to accept truth, to, you know, let what was hidden come to the surface, to be dealt with. It takes strength, whatever. And this is about opening up and letting go. This could be a new suitor. This could be a new, this is a new suitor. Something that is better suited for you, whether it's a person or it's a thing or whatever it is. This is a new exciting opportunity that is very well suited for you. It could be... You know, if it is a person, literally, this person is probably a little bit younger. There's probably a, 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 a feeling of um, excitement around this opportunity. And it could lead to something stable, solid, secure, long-term. It could lead to a, you know, a very comfortable um, situation, put it that way. But there's a lack of investment. There's, it's like it's, there's a lack of uh, nurturing. Okay, somebody isn't putting in the effort to make something grow. There's probably some impatience here. Somebody is reluctant to really cooperate. Somebody doesn't want to co compromise. Could be because there's addictions. They could be masking their true feelings be with addictions. Okay. So on this day, we have somebody here that is in the process of making a complex decision. Their intuition is talking to them, speaking to them, but they're ignoring it. Somebody's ignoring their intuition. They are. <laughs> What would I just say? Absolutely somebody's ignoring their intuition. They're ignoring their gut. But I think whatever they've been trying to bury, whatever they've trying to avoid, whatever they've been trying to hide is about to come to the surface. Okay? Looks like it's going to come to the circuit. Cir the circus! <laughs> no, it probably has been a circus, right? With this temperance, re <laughs> temperance reversed. And there could be some frustrations. Frustrations over the chaos that whatever the situation has caused, there has been some chaos. 
Anyhow, I feel as though somebody hasn't been listening to their intuition and it's about to come to the surface. You know, whatever has been hidden, whatever they've been trying to avoid, whatever decision that has been causing them so much grief is about to probably, you know, be dealt with. I think it's about to be dealt with. Somebody's been avoiding the challenge, right? I, I, I just don't want to deal with this. I really don't want to deal with this. Great personal fear. This is a need to be gentle, and this is a need to be gentle. You know? Yeah, there's always a need to be gentle, but there's a need to be gentle with your approach. There's a need to be gentle with other people. Page of Cups reversed. This is... Uh, a need to open up, a need to be more playful, a need to follow your heart, a need to follow your dreams, a need to, you know, have some more fun. And this is somebody, once again, who hasn't been following their intuition. This is unfinished business. Somebody hasn't learned a lesson as well with the world, re world card reversed. Somebody, it's like they're refusing to learn their lesson. They're refusing to step over that finish line. They're refusing to let go of something that has no more growth, that has no more potential for anything. Holding on to it, I don't know why. It could be causing, you know, a lot of upheaval. Holding on to something that has no... Commitment, you know, that has no uh, growth left. Now that Seven of Pentacles reverse, it's time to relocate. It's time to relocate. And we got somebody here that is reluctant to relocate. Could be things. Anyway, this, this world card, this is refusing to learn a lesson or not learning a lesson because somebody isn't listening. Maybe they're reluctant to let go of an unrequited love relationship. Maybe they have another suitor, somebody that's better suited for them. But you got to make a choice. There's consequences up here. Absolutely there is. There could be a loss of, you know, somebody who is stable, solid, and secure, who retracts their offer because somebody's making the wrong decision. There is absolutely consequences for holding on to things that... You know, don't don't need to be in your life. So we have somebody here that's hiding something. Somebody's intuition is telling them that somebody is hiding something. And somebody could be retracting from the whole situation because there's unfinished business with something else, you know. There could be a new suitor. There could be somebody that's better suited, but somebody is, is not letting go. Not listening. It's like not following the script. The script has already been written. We have a new exciting opportunity with this very, maybe this is a very gentle, caring, kind individual. I don't know who it is. But it looks like it's it looks like it's slipping away. It looks like it's slipping away because some, there's distrust here. We got somebody that thinks some that knows that somebody is hiding something, and it probably has to do with another person. One more card. Ooh, wow. We could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is a bitter, resentful person who is vindictive. Will do anything to get her way if she needs to. She is cutthroat. She's sneaky. She's swords, after all. Think of the Seven of Swords. She is sneaky. And this could be anybody, any sign. But this individual, you know, will do anything to get what she wants. And she doesn't care who she hurts in the process. So, 
I feel like today we have somebody here that needs to follow their intuition. They have an opportunity to go down a new path, but they're going to need to find the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower. To follow through with the task at hand. No secrets. I said one more card. So I feel like today is a day of somebody making a choice because that is the choice. The very first cards, the very first card. Do you want to, ex you know, do you want to face your fear? Can you find that force within you to open up and let go and speak the truth and follow your gut? Or do you want to live in fear? Or do you want to live alone? Because this is a very lonely individual who likes to keep their grasp on the things bitter. It looks so as though today we, we have somebody that needs to make a choice because that is the first card. Do you want to lose a golden opportunity? Or do you want to step over the finish line and go down that new path? So it's decision making day. This is a good news. Somebody could be receiving a message. I don't know. This is a message. This is from somebody that is very well suited for you. swords yeah this is the need to win at all costs it's going right here I was gonna say one more card but something we got somebody here this is somebody who it's it's like it's a lose-lose situation they're dealing with an individual who, who doesn't care who they hurt it's all about them ego is in the way We have somebody here that is facing some power struggles, some inner conflict. Inner conflict about a choice. And we got a denial here. Somebody that is in denial and it's like they're blocking the truth. Blocking the truth for maybe they're, just on, they're on drugs or something. Destined change. This is the wheel of change. Change of course. Destiny. So this is free will. That's, take, that's spinning that wheel to change your destination. So I feel like we have somebody here that is in the process of making a decision as to where they want to go. This is a card of karma, destiny, fate, a change of course. This is, you have an opportunity to bring good fortune into your life. But free will does play a part. And this is about completing a chapter. So somebody is in the process of completing a chapter and they're resisting it. They're trying to control. It's time for a change. It's time for you to receive. But you can't receive if you don't step over that finish line, if you don't let the last chapter complete. So this is good luck. 
Good luck. So yeah, today is a, a day about making a decision based on your intuition. It's time for a change. It's time for you to receive. It's all part of the script. Find your strength and your courage to walk away from whoever this person is that has ulterior motives. It's hindering your own success. Good luck.